Hello, good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your friend and your host, Santos Cabrillan Jr. Guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial for those who are wishing to join an MEP company or a maintenance company, okay? Or let's say you want to join an um, establishment there where you will find some motor controls, okay? Now I'm obliged to do this tutorial because one of my students was able to land a good job in a cold room facility, okay? So in a cold room facility, there will be what you call air coolers, okay? To cool down the temperature of the room below freezing point. Actually, in my previous uh, project in a warehouse, the temperature for a cold room is around negative 37, I guess, okay? Now, uh, I'm, as I said, I am obliged to do this for the sake of this student who was able to land a job in a cold room facility, okay? So, I'm doing this to help this new engineers, especially if they will be dealing with motor control, okay? Now, uh, as you know, I have several uh, tutorial in simple motor control. But today, what I'm going to do is to explain the motor control for Y Delta or soft starting, okay? By the way, why we need uh, Y Delta? Actually, we need Y Delta for big loads. When I say big loads, these are motor which has capacity of uh, maybe 8 kilowatt and above, okay? So, these uh, motors, the connected loads are big, okay? Like, maybe like fans, big fans, okay? So, meaning uh, you cannot directly start it in a DOL or direct online because it will create so much in rust current, then if your power distribution is not sufficient enough, to handle this uh, in the current, then you will encounter trippings, okay? Now, uh, today, the scope of this tutorial is three, uh, three parts. So, I will begin with the part one, the introduction with motor control or Y delta, okay? So, what I have here is my simple Y delta uh, control, okay? Now, as you can see, I don't have the motor here. So, this will be my motor connection. So this one is U1, V1, W1, then U2, V2, W2, okay? So all I need to do is connect the motor here, a three-phase motor, okay? Then connect it properly. Now, the, the motor that I'm be using here is a six-lead uh, induction motor, okay? So it's already prepared, the connection for the motors. Now this is the simple motor control, okay? So simple, I mean the simple control for this Y delta, okay? So as you can see, uh, I already have here my uh, three-phase uh, circuit breaker, okay? Then I have also here a single pole circuit breaker for the control, okay? Now the control for this one is a mix. I have a contactor here, this magnetic contactors. Uh, the coil for this uh, magnetic contactor is 24 then the coil for this magnetic contactor is uh, 220 okay now actually in a uh, wide delta you need a contactor that has a normally closed contact and a normally open contact okay so this is important in a wide delta control okay now one more thing we need this uh, y delta timer okay now what is the purpose of this y delta timer this y delta timer will be the one to handle the uh, starting of motor in y okay so this is my y contactor then after several seconds which is being set in this timer then it will be the energized then the delta contactor will be energized, okay? But basically, this line contactor or K1 will be always energized, okay? Because this one will be the one to engage our motor to the power supply. Now, the power supply here should be 3 phase, okay? Now, when it is 3 phase, it could be 220, uh, 380, or 415. It depends on the power supply of a 
company. Now, if you are in abroad, let, let's say in Qatar, we are using that 415, okay? Then maybe some country they will use 380 for the uh, power supply of three phase, okay? Now, this one will be for my control. Later, I will show you the power diagram, then the uh, control, okay? Now, let me show you the power diagram. I have there a simple power diagram, okay? This is my power diagram. Okay, I will try to explain it also. Then I have here my. I will ha I have there my uh, control. Okay. Now, but let me focus first explaining what are the components. Okay. Now, uh, let me see if I can simulate this. Uh, okay. So I just turn on my uh, control power. Okay. So here, so I am here, this one I'm using for delta when the motor is already running in delta. Then this one is the one will tell us if the motor is running at Y. Then this is the trip or fault uh, condition. Let's say if our motor will trip, then we have here the start and the stop push buttons. Okay. Now actually, we are calling it Y delta or reduced voltage starting because as you can see we have here the Y contactors. When this motor will run for a few seconds in Y, then the uh, reduced voltage is happening here. Okay? Let's say your uh, power supply is 380 or 415. Let's say 415. Now if the motor is running at Y, then the reduced voltage is happening here split uh, within 5 seconds, okay? So when you reduce the voltage, you are reducing also the current. So that's why when it is starting, then there is a reduced voltage, then reduced current so that this breaker will not trip because of a very high uh, in rust current, we are, when we are going to start the motor at direct online, especially if it is a big motor. Okay, so what is happening? If the motor is running at Y, then the motor will slowly rotate. Okay, so it's just like slowly moving. After 5 seconds, then our delta contactor will kick in. That's the time the motor will run at full speed. Whatever is the <coughs> RPM at full load of the motor. It will be, you can see it in the motor nameplate, okay? So, that is the purpose of Y delta starting. In Y, we have the reduced voltage. If there is a reduced voltage, then the current will also be reduced. That can be handled by our circuit breaker. Okay, then after several seconds, the motor is already rotating slowly. Then that's the time to put the motor in a full RPM. Okay, then it will not create very high interest current that your contactor cannot be able to handle. Okay, so that is the purpose of this uh, Y delta starting. Okay, so bear in mind Y delta starting are for big loads. Okay, so let's try if we will... Okay, what is happening here? Why I don't have... Okay, let me check what is missing in my uh, power here. Okay, maybe I have turn on. Okay, now... Okay, so as you can see, why is running? After few seconds, now delta is running. As you can see in the contactor. So why is the energized? Then delta and line contactor are energized, providing the full uh, power supply to the connected motor. Okay, let me stop. So let me show you again. So here I've set it to four seconds. Okay. So my white timer, white delta timer is set to four seconds. I can adjust it to five. Okay. So almost five. Okay, almost five. Then let's start again. When we push the start, we are expecting why this contactor, the line contactor, <coughs> and the Y contactor will be energized for uh, based on the setting in the uh, timer. So let me start. Okay, as you can see, 
line and y delta are energized. Okay, so it is running at reduced voltage. Then after some time, now the line and the y delta are now running. And you can see also in our indication here. Okay, so let's stop it. Let's start again. Okay, y is running. Then as you can see here, then after the setting here, it will stop then the delta. Okay, delta now is running. Okay, so meaning the motor will be running at full speed. Okay. So this is the simulation of this Y delta motor starting or what we call reduced voltage starting or sometimes we can call it soft starting. Okay, so let's stop it. Let's try it again. Okay, Y running. Then after some time, after several seconds, it will be energized. Then that's the time the delta factor to be engaged. Okay, now our indication here denotes that it's running already in delta. Okay? Now, the next part of this will be the uh, explanation of our power diagram. How are you going to uh, prepare the power diagram? Okay? So, there are three parts in Y delta. First, uh, the components itself. You have to distinguish what are the needed components. Then, the power diagram, then the control. Okay? So in the in this part one, the components we have here are three phase uh, breaker, main breaker. Then we have here a single pole breaker for the controls. Okay, I will explain it later why I have these things. Then I have three contactors here: line contactor, delta contactor, then Y contactor. Then we have here our overload protection. Then our motor leads connection okay so once again thank you for watching the short uh, video tutorial for y delta now the next part uh, will be the power diagram how are you going to do the power then the y delta control okay guys thank you for watching i hope i can see you in the part two thank you and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe you can also help me in promoting my channel by liking it, put your comments, then uh, share, and of course, subscribe. Once again, before I will end this tutorial, Santos Capilian Jr. will always say, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.